Catson News. Good to Abby Janos on Catson News at 7. It's good to have you join us on Catson TV News at 7. National Foreign News Headlines. Get balanced, accurate facts on the latest news in business, politics, entertainment, sports, and more. Live from our studios. Many thanks for watching. Join us again at Time TV News. TV news. Wrapping up the day, unwind with the reminiscence of the day's news from home and abroad with Kaftan TV 7 p.m. news. Good to Abby Janos on Kaftan News at 7. I'm living in Afghan 5%. I own to breathe the first harmony symphony. It's good to have you join us on Kaftan TV news at 7. National. Foreign news headlines. Get balanced, accurate facts on the latest news in business, politics, entertainment, sports, and more. Live Excellent. from our studios. Many thanks for watching. And join us again at Back 9 time TV, TV News. news. Wrapping up the day, unwind with the reminiscence of the day's news from home and abroad with Kaftan TV 7 p.m. news. Good to Abby Janos on Kaftan News at 7. I'm living in Afghan 5%. I don't believe the first the harmony symphony. It's good to have you join us on Kaftan TV news at 7. National. Foreign news headlines. Get balanced, accurate facts on the latest news in business, politics, entertainment, sports, and more. Live Excellent. from our studios. Many thanks for watching. And join us again at Back Time, Time TV News. Thank you so much for joining us on Joy Asanya Live this beautiful evening. Today, it promises to be just as interesting, especially because of our topic. We are moving to Kano, where the governorship election petition tribunal uh, earlier sat Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf and declared the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Nasiru Gawuna, winner of the 18th governorship, 18th March governorship poll. Well, a lot of reactions have started uh, following that news and my guest in the studio will be telling me how he finds the judiciary having to determine our uh, election result and uh, what how he finds the news altogether. It has been mixed feelings all the way. Is What does this say for our elections moving forward, especially as we have off-cycle elections uh, coming on very soon on the 11th of November? My guest, Dr. Barry Avoto Johnson, the first convener, votes must count international initiative. Thank you so much for being part of the program. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Nigeria. So it's a pleasure, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll be back after this very short break to get into the story. If you have not heard, well, you're hearing it here. You're hearing it here first, rather, uh, that uh, the tribunal has sacked the NNPP's uh, governor, Abba Yusuf. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back from that break. Um, let, let's just go straight to the issue. First of all, how did you find that? Did you find it a bit um, 
uh, interesting that first of all <laughs> the, the judgment was transmitted virtually via uh, Zoom, that's right, uh, a, a teleconference uh, platform. Was was that a, a bit weird for you? Um, it's not where we're expecting that already because um, we uh, for the presidential uh, appeal court of appeal judgment of Peter O.B. versus Atiku and the rest. We expected that they will not even come at all and we were shocked that they came prepared and they read it but this time around you see is in the case of Kano. Kano is a state that is very very important when it comes to the politics of Nigeria and it is a clear manifestation that if you don't win Kano you cannot win Nigeria. Kano is in a capacity where it's a must win for anybody who becomes president of Nigeria, just like when we talk about Lagos. So Kano plays a very, very uh, frontline role in the issue of, um, you know, um, uh, the standardization of voters and um, the political style, the lifestyle of voting exactly. when it comes to the formula of winning a presidential election in Nigeria. So you see, um, who becomes the Kano state governor is one of the most important thing when you talk about the politics of the northwest not northwest mm. northwest the northwest zone the kaduna state governor the um um kano state governor those two states play a major role and kano leads when it comes to politics in the north that is where they say um in the house of language they say to uh, that it means that the Kano state owners have come and they have really come uh, how can you give judgment on zoom when you are alive it means that that job ju that judgment has a little pomade mm. of subversion why why is that because um, for security reasons yes well, i'm sure it's security yes reasons. So and, and, and the prior, question remains prior that. to this judgment in all the states even the threat. presidential we've been hearing threats to these judges it almost seems like whatever wherever the judge is turned is going to um affect some pe some some persons who because of the money to. rain uh, maybe but I mean, because, because of the money rain I mean, in court, have evidence we that. have the evidence of well, the body I, language of these people who are called body judges. Language, body language is no evidence. It's an evidence. I can't, it's, I can't, it's an I can't evidence. base this conversation Don't on worry. body language. Don't but worry, I'm madam. Saying that uh, don't worry. I can understand why any judge would say, or the judges rather, would say, you know what, mm -hmm. let's deliver this uh, via Zoom. So, I mean, the Constitution did not particularly, before this, this uh, uh, interview, I actually asked uh, a lawyer friend of mine uh, what it, mean, it meant to have uh, such a, a, virtual a, judgment. Yeah, a virtual judgment. And um, I, was, I was surprised that he said that the Constitution did not really state, um, state it categorically because, I mean, virtual judgments are now um, a trend. For us, it's a new development, it's a new development. that we don't mind. Mm. What, my, what, we, what we want to mind in the uh, uh let, me, let, me, let me just quickly read an okay. excerpt from what uh, a um a veteran i mean a, a law what they call the learned person, learned people learned person uh, <laughs> um, shared with me he says the law is dynamic and as such needs to grow to meet global trends yes though the constitution does not specifically provide for a virtual court hearing in as much as the same constitution empowers the head of of court to allow virtual hearings. Accordingly, the president of the Court of Appeal, who is vested with the responsibility to make rules of practice and proceedings, procedures for election tribunals, has made practice directions that allow the use of virtual hearings or Zoom to conduct the pro proce uh, proceedings of the tribunal. So he th this is not necessarily going against the constitution. Yes, but yes. It's weird for some of us. Uh, because you are new, it's a new trend for us. It's a new trend and it's not a bad one mm. at that. What is bad about it is the judgment. 
Yes, um, but does it speak to, to question where the judiciary is perceived by people? Because it's unfortunate. Like I said earlier, there were several threats that followed it. I condemned it completely because that's an institution that I hold very sacred. That's right. I reverence that that institution. I expect Nigerians too. But, but how can we ensure that moving forward, we don't have such threats that will make it the, the judges, if indeed it is because of security issues, having to hide behind the the, the screen? When the judges, when the judges do the needful, nobody is going to threaten you. Who will threaten you when you are scoring perfect goals? Who will threaten you when you are scoring the goal that the country needs? These judges are batting in the pool of bribery and corruption. And you know that how? Like I said earlier. Everybody knows that. Everybody, 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 knows. everybody knows that in Nigeria. They have their agents scattered all over the places. Don't worry. After these judges give their judgment, mm. don't worry. We are going to blow up a lot of escapades of agencies. Agents put on ground by judges in Nigeria. Agents? Yes. Uh, that's Special agents that help them negotiate the criminality in the judiciary that we've talked about. You yourself, you know, the world knows that right. the judiciary of Nigeria is in comatose. For us, judicial um, uh, uh, education in Nigeria is suspended because of the criminality we have seen so far. A lot of people win election in Nigeria and the, 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 the your opponent goes to court and the judge expects you to give something and when you are when you are not giving anything, they give up the case. And when they give up the case, they want you to go to the Supreme Court where you still bring that money at the end of the day. We know a lot of people who have paid money. We know a lot of people who are expected to give money for their judgment, not to be subverted. But you see... That is um, uh, uh, a situation where we have to sit down and overhaul our judicial system. And, uh, well, we our system, I would like us our to system needs overhaul. Before we get to this overhauling and the, and the rec recommendations you would give for these reforms you are suggesting, yes. let's go to this corruption you're talking about, especially, uh, are you talking about this um, election tribunal? Our judges are corrupt. You and know you have that the world that. knows that the judges in Nigeria are corrupt. They are subverters of judgment. Mm. We saw that in the Court of Appeal against Peter Obi, Atiku, and Ashwaju, and the APC, and INEC. We saw that. Even with evidence, glaring evidence, overwhelming evidence that so showed itself, Peter Obi won an election that was snatched. And we saw the evidence. You saw the evidence. We saw the evidence. We voted. We saw it. We have it. We had. We, a, even, we even have this evidence on ground. We had, we had a twelve-hour interpretation of this before the judge. The, the proclamation. You, yes. You, it did not suffice for you. Let me tell you, eighty-five point five percent of the judgment given at the court of appeal against five. Yes. Five against Peter. Uh, with eighty-five. Yes, eighty-five percent of the capacity of the uh, judgment given at that court. Is alien to the court to the laws of Nigeria. Alien. Yes. It did not. It did not support. It did not. It did not marry because the, it did not marry because the electoral, electoral acts says this, and the judges are giving judgment based on their own understanding. Individualistic understanding have nothing to do with it. But you see, one good thing I want to say to the Nigerians and to the world is that we we just found out that we will not destroy Nigeria because we didn't win election because that's how we will not destroy nigeria that. because someone who we have sympathy for didn't win election but that does not mean that this administration should continue to push nigerians to the wall but would you agree that it seems like um, from every divide you yes. politicians if it yes. doesn't go your way then it is the highway because it seems like um you've done an election <clears throat> INEC, you, you, you challenge the method at which INEC um, uh, organized that election. That's right. Okay, you go to court, first of all, having said all you did about INEC, you go to court, you still fail in the, in the court of appeal. The judges are now the problem. It was INEC at first, and now it is the judges. Remember, uh, it's remember like it the, doesn't go your remember way. that the politics of Nigeria head. is a cartel dealing. Mm. It's just like drug paddling. They have their people on ground, on the streets, in the airport, 
even in the highest places of government. So, so from, from both sides of the yes, argument. So practically now, someone who read the election should use a political party, mm. should use the judges when it comes to the subversion of um, care, uh, cases to be delivered by the judges, and should also use the police, that is in the security perspective, which we saw in the 2023 presidential election. From so the divide, Kano case, uh, as a the Kano case is a charge. The Kano case, the Kano judgment is a shame and is a show of disgrace to the judiciary of Nigeria. It is a clear manifestation that that man called Musa Rabi Okwankwaso, with due respect to every other person, was the political owner of Kano. We saw the elections, we saw the campaigns, we saw the voting, and we saw the results. You didn't challenge the NNPP's win in Kano? NNPP won Kano. It's a clear manifestation. The whole world saw it. No, I, I would have sworn that you... NNPC won Kano. And the world saw it. So why do you have to now want to take Kano by force? Isn't Kano one of the, the, the states you challenged as having, um, uh, like you said, uh, had your, your vote? Peter Obi did, did not win Kano. He only got 25% of votes. Right. But Atiku did not win Kano because he only got 25% of votes. But Kwan Kwaso is a man the world knows. He is the political grandmaster mm. of Kano. Even the governor who just left, yeah, Rabiu, um, uh, what's his name, Ganduje, mm. who is now the uh, unfortunate um, uh, um, uh, national chairman of APC. I'm not sure uh, why it's Gandola, we call him Gandola. Um, uh, that man is a political student of Kwan Kwaso. A student can overthrow the master. A student cannot overthrow a magician who understands his act. You don't know who Kwan Kwaso is. Kwan, the whole world knows Kwan Kwaso is the knocking point for any electoral victory in Kano, except he does not want it. He has been governor two times. But in so, Kwan Kwaso he has everything. It's tough to, to, to knock down a an incumbent. Madam, APC just wants to take Kano by hook or by crook. And that might put Nigeria burning, which is wrong. We already have a heat up. In our polity the government of today need to understand that Kano is not a property of the APC except they want Kano to be on fire and you know one thing it is dangerous to put Kano on fire because Kano can be the flame maker to light up Nigeria coming from the north oh, which we must is always this, is this disagree you are you inciting because I know Kano I mean, if you because, because if you Kano are, is on fire mm, the Nigerian north is on fire and it can spring into other places so we are warning we are looking at government to make sure that they go away from that decision to take Kano is not going to be easy. If they want to take Kano, let them not take Kano from the courts. Let them wait until 2027 and do good government, good politics, and take Kano in peace. Because if Kano gets, gets broken, it will affect Kaduna, and from Kaduna to Abuja, and from Abuja to Benin to Lagos, and Nigeria will like, sure which we don't want. I will, not, I will not allow you. We don't want that. that. It seems like you are, you are the one inciting. No. So I am not inciting. I'm telling you what so the decision. I'm telling you what, telling you what the decision. Indigents are happy. Did you see the video? How can they be happy when the rampage is all over the place? Well, Did you see the video of the Pankwasiya people taking over the streets? We are talking about close to one million people on the street already. But you also saw those who are celebrating. You know how many people are celebrating? It is, it is can, you calculate, can you calculate 10 people celebrating for a criminal arrangement called the APC in Kano and almost 1 million people peaceful? Right now, as I'm talking to you, the Kwakwasiya people in Kano are peaceful. They are protesting already. And we are praying that that protest does not go beyond whatever. Thank God it's not even the Supreme Court yet it's just court of appeal so practically we are telling nigerians and we're telling the government those who think they have the monopoly to arrest people and to cause confusion in government they should start looking at the issues of bringing of time peace for kano because right now mm -hmm. that judgment is subverted the world knows and can cause chaos and the security agency have to move to kano now to make sure 
cannot remain scam. Okay. Because if so, fraud escalates, for, it's not going for, to be a thing context, of joke. For context, yeah. uh, for those who might not know what the justification that the judges give, uh, that's the, um, uh, the tribunal judges gave, let me quickly reel it out. Now, according to... Uh, recall rather let me start from the basis yeah that the independent national electoral commission declared that the nnpp polled 1.19 votes to defeat the apc's candidate nasiru gawuna who scored 890,705 votes the nnpp candidate at the time uh, was declared winner with a margin of 128,889 votes. However, the APC filed a petition at the tribunal challenging the result declared by the electoral body. The court deducted, the court deducted 165,663 votes from Yusuf as invalid. Uh, stating that the ballot papers the, of those invalid um, votes were not stamped or signed and therefore declared invalid. Would you say, if you were a judge, that indeed if there were invalid votes, however many there are, you would keep them substantial? Who brought the invalid votes as... Um, um, I as no, I uh, Who brought the invalid votes to the court as um, evidence? It must have been INEC. It can't be INEC because INEC was the one who returned the N NNPP candidate as governor elect. Well, they must have been So they subpoenaed. cannot go around. They must have been subpoenaed. They cannot go around and I now know. bring a case where they, where, where they participated in, for example, rigging to now bring activities backward so definitely if it I, is the if, argument if i am that challenging the, the outcome yes, of an election yeah. i will do my due diligence and i expect that that is what the apc must have done for no, them to have access no, no, to these votes no, that are now it's a, madam is a clear manifestation and I, and I'm asking you, nigerians know that apc wants to take Kano by force mm. for them to balance the equation that they are in Lagos and they are in uh, uh, Kano, the two eyebrow, the two eyebrow cities where votes are like sand for you to justify that you won the presidential elections. Look, let me tell you, Nigeria I, I can only, Nigeria can only be peaceful when government does the right thing. Maybe what is the right thing? The, 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 the Lagos. Um, um, votes for Asiwaju, if that's where you're going with this. Because it's yeah, a Asiwaju, system, Asiwaju accepted his... Because it's a systematic state. rigging. We know this... Uh, do you know who Asiwaju is? Asiwaju is an expert, a political expert who has spent many years with Awolo and many years with MKO. Okay. He understands the rigging activity of the politics of Nigeria. Give the that to him. Activities. You can give that to Asiwaju. But when it comes to the reality on ground, mm. we saw that Lagos was a no-go area is a no 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 for apc when it was presidential elections even the governorship election uh someone who did not win that election but because your, I, I don't have the right i don't have the right to I'm tell happy, you I'm because i'm not the court exactly. but when it comes to the individualistic understanding of the politics of nigeria the world knows that labor party is the winner of the governorship election and the presidential election in lagos let's leave lagos aside we are talking about kano that the world even the witches and wizards know that the man called musa rabbi Kwankwaso has the integrity and the capacity to decide who becomes governor and who, or who what becomes the, uh, the the outcome of any presidential election in kano for context again we need to in Kano. we need to establish that in Kano. was not in the ballot for governorship so he it was not in the ballot yeah, but it was not his party enjoys, that pushed the person the did Kwankwaso approve endorsement for kabal Kab kabir he did so they're in the same book mm. there's no way a Kwankwaso will win Kano for presidency and another party will win for governorship. Go and check the history of the politics of Kano and the election calendar. You will see that who wins presidency takes um, uh, the governorship. So we all know that but you also the dynamism of this year. We all know that the APC is just a hungry Dracula that wants to take everything and have all. But you see, it's not possible. They are going to throw Nigeria into chaos. And we are begging them to have a second thought so that Kano can remain peaceful. Right now, the rally and the protest is peaceful. Before it goes hellware, 
please we are calling on Asiwaju and everyone in the APC and the security agencies, Nigeria must not be put on fire. Nigeria must be peaceful. Nigeria we cannot destroy be our country because somebody lost election or somebody won an election. Nigeria belongs to all of us. We must do everything possible to make sure Nigeria is standing as a country. have responded to the question I asked. They are, yeah. they are invalid votes. And I'm sure that uh, the opposing council or the, the defending, the, the defendants saw well, I think these, these invalid votes that were not stamped. Judge. So if you were a judge, what there would will be a subpoena. There will be a subpoena for those people who were agents to prove it when I think they go to the Supreme Court. Maybe because, that would happen. Yes, that will help uh, Nigerians to have a first-hand information on uh, who presented uh, uh, the uh, materials for. Uh, uh, the litigations but that's a lot of number that's over they have to follow and they have to follow that's why they are judges that's why they are collecting salary no what i'm saying is that for 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 this um for the for uh, the the challenging uh, uh, council to to really show that as much as 100 but you, 60 but, thousand but joy do you know that if you check valid. if you have a reflection of the judgment read by the court of appeal against peter will be uh, with peter will be against those case, other party yeah. the the court of appeal said they displaced they discharged that case that prayer where peter will be presented those papers because there were too much and peter will be did not mention where yes, the papers came was, from so now can't we now reflect that the same court of appeal in Kano should also tell Nigerians that presenting those papers that are blah should not count, just like a court that is an appeal court already. So I think that's different. It's not different. An election that's is an election because the process of voting in these two elections are the same. It is the same. It is the but same. So we should marry. About that's what we are saying. Court of appeal says. These black papers are invalid. They are non granta It is not a goal. This had no stand. It, it, it's not a goal. It's the same for Peter will be suffered. So but why should they use draw. that same yesterday to draw. now cancel, to now remove, to now reduce the votes that Kabil got one against one the one that the stamped. APC, the, the APC people got? They said they, what makes a a document um, certified or yeah. official is the stamp. But if you but the same, stamp, it's the same you are thinking about a blood document. Yes, so it, can a blood document? Can you see it stamp on the blood document? Okay. This argument is getting here. That's why I told you. Go for a shot. Before you go on a shot, break, that's why I told you that there's a subversion of the law Dr. by the judge presented by Nigerians. This is my penthouse. I do as it pleases <laughs> me. A break we have to go to. We we'll return to discuss more. This is still Joy Asanya Live. Stay with us. of the day. Unwind with the reminiscence of the day's news from home and abroad with Kaftan TV 7 p.m. News. Good to Abby Janos on Kaftan News at 7. It's good to have you join us on Kaftan TV News at 7. National Foreign news headlines. Get balanced, accurate facts on the latest news in business, politics, entertainment, sports, and more. Live from our studios. Many thanks for watching. Join us again at Kaftan 9 TV 9 TV News. Yes, there is news on your device. 
But hearing an analyst's perspective is the icing on the cake that Daily Break Africa provides. Great. I mean, start your day with prompt analysis of the latest news, trends, politics, entertainment, fashion, culinary skills, so first, I'm going to be pouring the oil inside the first hour. Religious and cultural events amongst others on Daybreak Africa. For a rich mix of analysis on current issues, tune in daily from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Channel 480 and 124 on Star Time. Welcome back from that short break. Like I said earlier, we have Dr. Barry Avoto Johnson, the first, the first right here with us. The, Thank you. He is the country director, Vote Must Count International Initiative. Uh, we are talking about the tribunal sacking NNP, NNPP's Abba Yusuf and declaring APC's um, candidate, uh, Gauna, the winner. Like I said earlier, also, um, a lot of reactions have followed that. However, NNPP recently have had their internal crisis. In fact, lots, some would call it uh, having factions now, parallel government within the party. Has, would you say um, that when you see such factions, it affects uh, the party to this extent? Yes. Um, 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 right now... Uh um, uh, if you relate every issue of the NNPP uh, uh, saga to the 2023 presidential election, you should just know that everything you see in the NNPP that is a problem is caused by the APC. The APC is a very, very strong uh, machinery used in rigging election in Nigeria since 2015. Like I said, we don't have the APC here. Done. We don't have, I like to balance my... You invite them. We are not afraid to well, have them. We, we, we invite them. We tell them. This was supposed to be civil. It wasn't one that... I am not... Argument. I am very civil. I'm telling you what but we because know. because I do not have the APC here. You get them and invite us to speak. I would rather you stick to the topic without, but, but, without accusing or I, alleging anything. I, I'm not alleging you. Against, uh, even you, even you that you are the presenter, you have seen that this this is a criminal judgment. I do not see that. I am it, not it's a, it's a criminal the judgment because it. the world knows that Kwan Kwasu is the master plan of the politics of Canada. Might be, but there's technicalities here. Uh, what what technicality that. presented to well, the judges by the by the, by the Supreme Council of the APC in the in the, in the in the center? Thousand invalid votes, and that's what I want you to address <laughs> in Nigeria mm. in the politics of this country. Exactly, over one hundred and something thousand votes. Five votes. Come on, please. Please. I'm not sure why you. There are, are some kind of stories you you just bring out. It, it, it looks like a cockaboo story. It, it, this is a criminal subversion against the wishes of the Nigerian people. But you would not kind of if, if you followed the news, you would also allude that uh, the NNPP actually came out at some point to say that some of the reasons why they did not do as well as they thought they would do is because the logo had an issue, and a lot of people didn't could not vote. Yes. Did not even know the way they were. They could have got more votes so, than they so got. Could, could that be some of the those invalid votes that the court saw? No. I think um, 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 it's a subversion judgment, subverted judgment against the Kano people. And we are calling on uh, the Kano people to become. We are calling on Asiwaju, wherever he is across the world, to, to speak to the Nigerian people in Kano Where to become. Court? Because... Right. This is a danger signal for Nigeria. I want to jump we don't need yeah, this. You don't seem to be addressing what I want you to go because I said I want you to get to a certain place, and I want you to talk about the internal crisis of these political parties. NNPP with Kwango so is fairly new, and yet they have internal crisis. Do you think if they had a united front, you would not you would see um, that united front uh, battling better in the supreme in the tribunal rather? Well, uh, it's all about politics. You, you I. I 
I want to relate the issue of um, uh, in-house wrangling um, in political parties in Nigeria. Most especially, I want you to look at what happened in the Labour Party. Exactly. Did Labour Party have any issue before the election? Yes. On, uh, listen, they are, they are before, before they had a presidential candidate. No. It is politics. You mm -hmm. put the stain there. You put the wound there and you treat it with Galaman Gallam 20. The political Galaman 20 using killing the fishes in the politics in Nigeria. It's a clear manifestation that that is the same injury that has been infiltrated in the NNPP. Did Ahmed, did Kwan Kwasu have any problem before the before he became a presidential candidate? No. Did he have any problem during the campaigns? No. Did he have any, any problem after the elections? No. He's having problems now because the APC is an infiltrated party. The APC wants to take the uh, and the, the party. The, uh, the, the, the APC is interested in taking over Kano. One strategy is to get the NNPP wounded by pushing some funds, bringing some promises to the people. There are allegations, allegations that are clear that well, Nigerians you know. This, you so don't see, allow you see this in this our thing. politics, you don't, need, you to, you don't need to bring a video or a, a, a video, a camera or an audio to say that. I, I, this I, is a Barry, clear manifestation. Barry, Barry Johnson, I mean, you can't use this platform to promulgate unfounded um, statements. But that's the fact. That is just what you think. Every quarter you see in the NNPP is an injection by the APC to form the pillars that is holding the party in Labour Kano. Party as well? The same thing. Okay, now let's talk about the Let Labour me party. ask you, Labour Party, who was a papa before the elections? Do you know that right now I'm speaking to you, a papa goes with bodyguards, a papa goes with private jets, and, and, and Where did he get the private jet from? Somehow he sponsored the, the Labour Party. No, even no. the Labour Party national chairman does not have a private jet to move around with. Maybe, but a maybe, papa who is uh, 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 a papa who is one riff uh, uh, who uh, was uh, given uh, opportunity uh, to come up in national politics is now you having have, a private jet to galavant across Nigeria and you are telling us the APC is Johnson. not involved in this? I to Johnson, I rather you do not uh, desist from abusing anybody. No, 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 I have no, to no. also mention the, the popularity of Labour Party has grown exponentially. Yes. And if a papa is saying that I am indeed the true national chairman, That's right. and like you have said, it seems to be having the largest that comes with being national chairman it means that they no. the labor party no. or the obedience no. has recognized him no. probably funding the, the, life the obedience is a group of people who busted the labor party into what it is today right using the influence of their support exactly. for the man called peter obi exactly where was labor party before obi came there where was Labour Party before the obedience adopted that party for the elections to vote for them? So it's the same thing I want to ask you. Where was NNPP when Kwan Kwaso was in PDP? Where was the NNPP when Kwan Kwaso became the presidential candidate? They became big. So Kwan Kwaso is a, is a euphoria. It's a phenomenon. Mm -hmm. The world knows this. Okay. This is a man who has the influence, the political influence of Kano. He inherited the noise of Abubakar, the former Abubakar Karimi, who controls the activities of politics in Kano. Now you want to tell me a Gandoje can come from the back door to take that, that from him? It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. All we are begging right now, we are begging our politicians to understand that you cannot take the hook and the crook together at the same time. I wanted, I wanted you to address the fact that small parties or parties um, that are coming up, I'm not sure the proper word to call it. Small parties? That often mushroom that, parties? No, I don't want to. Mushroom parties makes it sound like they don't have um, uh, debt. No, I, that's not. What of I'm course, they don't have their, their, their business angles, their business um, portfolios. Mm -hmm. and most political party in Nigeria, apart from the PDP, the APC, the Labour Party, mm -hmm. and maybe because of the Kwan Kwaso influence in the NNPP, uh, the rest parties are business pockets. Okay, they now use you, mentioned, you, mentioned, and, you mentioned the uh, Labour Party, yes. and yet uh, uh, our, our our papers have been flooded with the many internal wranglings within the Labour Party. Of course, a party that a lot of Nigerians had. 
a lot of young people that really have had seen as the different one the yes. one that is out to send the ideology of do it right what is the wrangling in the labor party are you asking me? I'm asking you because you said uh, the Nigerian youths uh, flooded the Labour Party, the and it's an unfortunate thing now that they have wranglings. They have yes. Major what wranglings. is the major wrangling in the Labour Party? It's simple. The Papa escapade. The Papa, Papa escapade. escapade. We have two people. Who, are, who is the next person? Yeah, even even Abure is a substantial the um, substantial um, 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 court verdict. The verdict the right the now. Verdict. The 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 appeal court verdict right now states that they should return to status quo. What is status quo? Status quo is that Abure was gov um, um, Abure was um, national chairman of labor. Mm. It should remain like that. And that's how it has remained. Some people will say status quo will go further down. No, because the, 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 if, if, if a papa has been given the power to become labor party chairman, where will mm. he be? He will be in the office. He will take charge of the activities, the apparatus of labor party. All his candidates doing the primary elections in Bayelsa, in, in um, Kogi, and in Imo will be his candidate. Go check the portal of INEC. Those people who conducted elections under the influence of the Abure movement is the same people who presented the list and INEC is having the list. Go check the uh, national the, the, the um, uh, website of INEC who is the national chairman of the um, Labour Party. It still remains Abure. We are only telling you that any wrangling you see in the Labour Party is an influence of a foreign hand. A foreign hand. Yes, and that foreign hand has been declared to have been seen why are you guys so susceptible to this foreign because hands? we know what is going on we've done our investigations you, I, I mean, how I, can I, an apartment be flying a like private that. jet overnight and with bodyguard with dss all over him and what, really, what does he carry yes that but he needs to, to be protected so we are telling you that the state mm. is the one trying to break the pillars of the I Labour Party. It. Can I and they cannot get it because the Labour Party is the Bayer, of the Nigerian I mean, people. I need to ask this question. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's so much. It seems like every problem in Nigeria to you, the APC precipitated it, which is fine. However, have you wondered why? I mean, if you come into my family mm. and you are able to pull somebody out to cause chaos, mm. that family did not have a strong foundation in the first place. That's so not true. So why are these parties, the NNPP internal problems, you put it on the APC, good? The uh, Labour Party internal problems is still the, N the APC yes. that is, is failing. It. That's right. Why are these parties so susceptible to these issues, this influence? It is not the party that's has the problem it is the individuals mm. who think they can be used because of greed selfishness they are hungry you don't expect a labor party uh, uh, member who is characterless not to collect a 50 million naira just to do is that how much you allege was given it is even more than that how much do you uh, do you register to fly a private jet Okay. In a day. Now, now, let, let, let How much? So when did Obama get the private jet from? Really These are his sponsors. Let you me tell you. That. Let me tell you. you in, cannot say okay, that. let me. Okay, let me give you an uh, an understanding now. Right. There is no way you have twelve disciples without a Judas. How many people yeah. are revolting yeah. against the Aburi leadership? It's just an Apapa movement. Do you understand? He is the one that has made up himself. Even in the, what you're saying even, is he does not have uh, um, uh, people. Uh, sympathetic to no, him. nobody is that's sympathizing with a papa. That's why you are, you are not seeing any protests against the Abure leadership. Because if a papa has anybody supporting him from Labour Party, you will see them they go and protest and even protest in the Labour Party national headquarters. Ah, I mean, when Did you, you see any protest? Any protest you see in the Labour Party is a protest against their papa leadership. That. We reject you. Here we don't we go again you. with protest. That we know how this protest of Of course, of course why, why is that? protest is um well uh, is a, a democratic norm. It's the right of the Nigerian people. Okay. It's the right of all politicians. If you don't agree to any policy of government, there's nothing wrong to state a peaceful protest. Protest is even a profession. You are supposed to even have you read protest in the university, so that you'll be able to protest the right way. Mm -hmm. It's our right. It like is. now, you see me as a chief protester that the world knows. What am I protesting for? 
the M VMCI no, is what, what, an what, organization that is saying, protesting against what, bad leadership. What I'm just saying is, I don't disrespect have to, for the rule of law. I don't have law. to protest to show my sympathy for a certain person. You have that to. Is your measurement. You have to because if you don't protest, rules. what is? Uh, don't, do you know that going to court is a protest? It is. It is a protest. protest. It is a judicial protest. Mm -hmm. It we have different kind of protest. Going to court is a protest in the first place. And if you miss the protest and if you want it to be sweet and juicy, you can go to you can run a street protest and get more followers. Right. Let a papa come out and do a street protest. I mean, I saw that one he of is the official I, uh, I, I, uh, I saw. Uh, 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 national chairman of Labour Party and let's see how many people follow him. And let Aburi step out. Okay, and let's if, see how many people will support I let him. you go, I mean, yeah. how can we get sanity in this so that if uh, there's the, in the beauty about democracy yes. is when there are different hands. That's I right. mean, uh, there's the Labour Party, mm -hmm. there is the um, APC, there's the PDP, there are, there are 18 other political parties. And it makes it interesting. I had the fun of my life uh, looking, watching uh, the past elections and the campaigns. Yeah. I, I was like a kid in a candy store. There was mm. so much information to grab with. So that's the beauty of democracy. That's right. So how can we strengthen this political party so that we have good choices to make? It's distracting when you want to follow the Labour Party and they are in court because they, they are holding f their two cha national chairmen. Trying Discrepancies to are too much. Too many. You want to look towards the NNPP or the national no chairman is it has as you know it's 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 difficult you get dizzy trying to follow that how can we strengthen political parties i think um the first decision to strengthen a polit political parties in nigeria you have to take it step by step the first step is to sack the INEC chairman. Oh my we goodness, how did get The here? INEC chairman needs to go. The INEC chairman needs to go, if, except you don't want sanity in our politics, in our elections. This INEC chairman is porous. And he How has, has to that go. got to do with because, the political Yes, parties. because he controls the activities of political party. How? He approves. INEC approves ownership of political party. Exactly. When a political party has a problem and they need to have a change right. of individuals in different offices, if INEC is not in consonant with the, that political party, the right or the wrong person will be given opportunity to be on the porter. Do you understand? But so it's a problem. But and this particular party. INEC chairman is a stupendous element of this unity when it comes to that. Um, the organization of elections in Nigeria over time. Barry so why should you allow a man who is a disgruntled element okay. of politics um, on an election to be the INEC chairman? Bye, Avoto Johnson. <laughs> I, I do not I do not appreciate you <laughs> calling um, an official of the government that holds such an important position in governance. Yes. I don't appreciate you calling him uh, such uh, very abusive names. But, you know, but I that's rather, what I would, rather, I would rather you be civil. So we Why? had a proper conversation. <laughs> you I was really hoping that Whoa. we could get into facts and not um, um, point fingers. What I'm telling you is because the fact. In this case, it seems like okay. you're being okay. emotional. No, I'm not emotional. Yeah, I'm not emotional. Yeah, you, emotional. you asked me a question. Uh, yes, you said you, you want yes. us to find a solution to so the problems of the wranglings in our political party. And I'm telling you that the chairman. national chairman of INEC who has the authority to register political party is part of the problems they are facing. In Labour and Party, for it, instance, not you just tell me, Labour no, Party. Let, let's, let's, I mean, you, you, you are sympathetic to the Labour Party. Yes, you are yes. an obedient yes. to call yourself. Full, full yes, full yes, I would no like, I would like, let's get to why you think that uh, the INEC chairman had a hand in the Aburia Papa fight, for instance. One of the major reasons why I think he has a hand, not I think, I know. Right. Because he is porous. He is open to sympathy of some individuals right. in and no, out of government. Listen, right. some individuals in and out of government. Right. And as national chairman of INEC, if we have a, an astute individual that would be the chairman, a no-nonsense person, he obeys the law that gives him the right to appear as chairman, or I have not landed. landed. No, you now, that, that, person, that person gives authority and order, and they take the order. Okay. Nobody will cause a problem in any political party because they know that they will not be, uh, they will not be approved by INEC. But they are doing this, fighting different, different, they are doing, they are, they are opening, fighting, they are opening new groups as fighting tools in different political parties 
so that at the end of the day they will send a letter to INEC that these are the new names of people illegally and they will be accepted. But you just also said that at the so moment, that's kind of chairman. That Abure kind of chairman. That of course, because the court has not thrown Abure out. So how would with you all the fightings, Abure, look. If you check back what happened to the national chairman of a APC that brought Ahmed Bolatinobu as a presidential candidate, mm -hmm. where is he today? A small one will have taken him off. One or two, three people removed him and they sent a letter to INEC that they have removed their chairman and this is the new name. And INEC accepted because they are the ones in power. So if you have a national chairman in INEC and says, no, this is not the law, to remove a chairman, you must do blah 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 blah. But you do it, know that they just brought for, for an context. appointed name for, by the of Grand DJ and for, made him a, a, a national chairman and I make accepted. For context, there was a resignation letter by the former national. Did you check? Did you check the resignation letter? Whether the letter was by duress or whether uh, there is a gun on okay, his head? Um, we can, uh, <laughs> no one can win with barrier voter. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm so sorry for facts. coming. It's not far. It's I mean, facts. And I don't want to continue. Um, it's facts. It's forming. My it's fact. I don't want to see, see madam. Let me tell you before you go, mm. let Nigerians know that it is an abuse of power, an abuse of office, and an abuse of our democracy if the INEC chairman is given the opportunity to conduct the last run of elections and this um, uh, staggered elections. What or what, what's this election is called? What's it called? Offset, offset, off season election. Right. If this chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, is the one giving the opportunity to do this election, it's an abuse to democracy. Okay. The court that, cases alone is enough for that, him to be thrown off. That's your opinion on the matter. Uh, you never win with Barry. You, you go left, he turns right. Okay. But this is where we draw the curtains on uh, Joy Asanya Live this beautiful evening. We've had a very um, interesting conversation, actually. Barry Avoto Johnson, thank you so much for being part of the program. Thank you so much for having me. Dr. Barry Avoto Johnson is the country director of Vote Must Count International Initiative. And we've, had, uh, be, uh, we've been discussing the tribunal as it sacks the NNPP's Abba Yusuf and declared APC's candidate winner. We'll be back tomorrow to discuss more, especially about our political landscape and the trending uh, events happening there. Have a wonderful evening. I am Joy Asoye.